Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're gonna wanna watch this, I promise. You're gonna wanna see what we do here raising the American Bison. Hit that subscribe button. Check this out, it's one of my favorite things to do. Put out the first bale of hay of the season. I'm gonna put two out today. We've got 13 total bison, three calves. They don't need a lot of hay, but those 10 yearling and adults, they can put hay away. We have harvested our own hay here on our property. And we've also got some from uh, Daniel from Arms Family Homestead off of his property as well. He doesn't have as many big animals to feed as we do. So we're good on hay bales this year. The bison love it because it's something that they can hit on. You wanna talk about Dunbar having a toy? I promise you, right here, he will hit this. They all love hitting these hay bales. They'll attack them. They'll do whatever it is. They, it's just like, it's a kid in the candy store. I promise these bison love getting a fresh bale of hay, their first bale of hay of the right. year. We're gonna go out in the pasture, see what the bison are doing, set it out and see what they do. Here we go.
if there's a bison that always tests the gates and knows when they're open and hits peaches, I had to stop the tractor here because I've got a gate open. See, I should. Whoa, that one's trying to open on me. Wind's blowing. You should keep them out into another pen to block them off, but they beat me to the punch. They heard the tractor and uh, they know what season it is. So Peaches is sitting here waiting on me to make a mistake so uh, she can squeeze out of here. It's amazing how dark these bison look when they're wet. See, Dunbar is a blacker color of wool. I think most of his babies are coming out black as well. He's already naturally a, a darker color of a bison, but anytime these bison are wet, they look even darker. So I actually put out two bales of hay. Got one right here. This one, this one was big. And then we have the one that you saw me just put out. But, but what was funny is I, I didn't catch it all, but because they were in another pasture. But when they saw the tractor and they saw me come through the gate, they were out here running around like crazy because they know what that tractor is inside the pasture. If they know it's good news. So it's good to get these hay bales out. Unfortunately, this grass will start going into dormant. This is Bermuda. Some of you are like, well, that's still green. Yes, it is still green. And they'll keep grazing on it, but it's gonna be nasty for a couple of days. It's cold and wet, you can tell. I'm actually pretty chilly, but it's a toy at first. And they, what's, what's crazy is, uh, if you notice about these, these hay bales, you look and you say, well, that's not a very good looking hay bale. Well, in southern Oklahoma, guys, or in the south, where we get a lot of moisture, a lot of these hay bales, and if you don't put them inside the barn, they kind of develop this outside dead look. And that's fine, because here's what the bison do, and, it, and what you just saw, is the bison will beat this exterior out, and underneath it is the good stuff. Yeah, so underneath there will be the good hay, and you can tell what they're eating right now on the other bale of hay. They've already destroyed it, and uh, Dunbar mainly destroyed it. They'll munch on that for probably two weeks or so, and then we'll have to put another bale out, depending on the weather, depending on the grass, but this freeze should get this grass, and then we'll go into our uh, winter season putting out hay. Hope you guys enjoyed also watching me out in West Texas with the Addington family. What a great experience. He has such a nice setup. I know every time that they work those bison, they're always trying to improve. They're trying to be safer. It was a safe and smooth. No bison got hurt. No body got hurt. It was awesome. And it was, uh, I wish, I wish we could go through that actually well we've always been safe it's just how smooth the, the transition was with those bison i had a lot of fun and the addington family are good people and uh, i had fun working with those guys and, and i'd love to do it again sometime thank you again to the addington family and i hope you guys enjoyed watching me going to another ranch i may try to keep doing this you guys let me know what you think I'd love to keep going and visiting some ranches just to see how they do things. 
uh, see how they operate, and uh, just just give you another uh, view of another ranch besides mine. You know, here in southern Oklahoma, we got 13. We started out with five, and so we're growing, starting from the bottom up. And if you guys are interested in wanting me to travel around to see other bison ranches, let me know. Also, sales coming up. November 14th, Perkins, Oklahoma, a show and a sale. Uh, we've got a judge coming from Texas. And we'll, I think we're going to have quite a few animals there. I'm going to sell my first two, so be looking for that. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you want to follow a small bison ranch in southern Oklahoma raising the American bison, guys. You can follow us on Facebook. You can follow us on Instagram. Thank you, guys.